All right, some of you know already, and all of you should know, that in 1605, the Catholic Church tried to kill King James. All right, and then in 1610, the Catholic Church came out with their own translation in the English language called the Douay Reims. So I want to read a, a piece here from the original DouayRemes.com website. The Douay Reims translation of the Bible is the first ever Bible translation in English approved by the Catholic Church made by Catholics for the Catholic faithful to use. Now, most people don't know, but all the major modern Bible versions in the English language are Vatican approved. All right, the Vatican has approved all of them. All right, and however, contrary to popular belief, the Catholic Church has translated scripture to English and other vernacular languages before this. That's interesting. I'm not buying it. I don't believe that at all. Let me read that again. However, contrary to popular belief, the Catholic Church was translated or has translated scripture to English and other vernacular languages before this. The popular belief is the fact that the Catholic Church outlawed the Bible in the English language. They outlawed it and they went so far as to kill people. One of those people was William Tyndale and they killed William Tyndale in 1536 they came out with the Douay Reims in 1610 so it wasn't even a hundred years before that that they had killed William Tyndale for translating the Bible into the English language now uh, to be fair uh, they weren't um, all that unmerciful they they hung them and they waited till he died before they burned his body, which was nice, right? But he died at the age of 42. Whenever I see this, um, you know, this picture of him painting or whatever, drawing, he looks like an old guy. But obviously, he's only 42, so obviously, he's not an old guy. Yeah, because I'm, I'm older than he he was, so he can't be old. But one of the things. That, that I really love that he said, it's quoted right here, William Tyndale responded, I defy the Pope and all his laws, and if God spares my life ere many years, I will cause the boy to drive the plow to know more of the scripture than thou does. Alright, so, um, he gave his life so that people could read the Bible in the English language. All right, and so that's why there's a popular belief uh, that the English was forbidden. The Bible was uh, the Bible was forbidden to be written in English. Okay, now see the about section for more information. For more, for more lies, go to the. About section. Okay, so this is as close as an English speaker can get to reading the Latin Vulgate without learning Latin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, good enough. All right, that's enough of that. So let's go. I want to read for you chapter 23, Psalm 23, excuse me. And let me start here. Say, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. All right, so I love that stuff right there. One of my favorites. I think it's a very popular song. So 
let's take a look at the Douay Rings. Remember the first line, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Second line, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. All right, the two A reams on the first day of the week, a psalm for David. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world and all, but all and therefore he has founded it upon. There's a problem. It's not the same. It's not the same. It's not even close to the same. And it's not because... They translated it different. It's completely different. And so what they've done is they've cut up different parts of uh, the Psalms and they've renumbered it. And so I, I want to give you my reason for why I believe the chapters and the verses are from God. All right, so first of all, the King James Bible is from God. It is the perfect, pure word of God in the English language. It is superior to all English translations. And it is the gold standard for the world today. All right, and the chapters and the verses are from God also. And let me give you a reason why I believe that. If you keyword search second Psalm Acts 13 verse 33, God has fulfilled the same unto us, their children, in that he has raised up Jesus again, as it is also written in the second Psalm Thou art my son this day have I begotten thee. Right there specifically it mentions the number 2 the second Psalm alright, and so just in case you think uh, the Bible's lying or you think I'm lying, let's just confirm this. In Psalm 2, right, Psalm 2, verse 7, I will declare the decree, the Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Alright, so it's there, and uh, the number, the second Psalm, is specifically mentioned. Therefore, the chapters matter, the verses matter, and I've heard all the arguments, and I'm, look, I've heard arguments that uh, we can't believe in any Bible, and we can't trust in any translation, and I've heard, of, I heard all of that, okay, but I'm telling you, that Bible that you hold in your hands, the King James Bible, is from God. It's not from man. And so also are the chapters and the verses from God. The words are from God. The numbers are from God. Okay?